This is probably the earliest that I've ever studied in my life. There's still two weeks left until the exams, and I'm already studying. <laughs> I finished high school with perfect scores and I thought that I could use the same techniques that I used back then for now but that is not true at all I'm now in my first year of college and I have two exam periods and the first one I did not do good at all and that's because I kind of went into college with like my high school mindset like studying one day before not really making summaries but the thing is I still passed because that was the level of high school high school for me was not that difficult I was always a fast learner I could memorize things but the amount of stuff that we got back then is not the same as now now it's way more and I cannot use the same techniques anymore I need to change it up so I'm here to admit that I kind of flunked my first exam period but it's not because I can't study or I don't know how to learn I know how to do it I just needed a new strategy so now let's get into the new strategy the first thing is exam prep so I'm gonna give you guys a few bullet points and explain a little bit what I do and what I think you should do to make sure that you study efficiently the first thing is really simple but obviously really important is to know when your exams are i know it's really simple because you get a list with all the exams and the dates but it's really important to really take a look at it and really write down every day like okay on this day i have this exam just so you know when your exams are because then you can already see okay do i have a little bit of space in between the exams and that's really important because when you plan your exams you already know okay between those exams i have like three days in between that i can maybe study for like another exam in that period obviously you know how many exams you have but then you need to list from one to how many exams you have which one is the most difficult the most difficult you have to put on one because we need to make sure that we have time to prep for that one for me in my exam now the two most difficult ones are last I don't know why I did that for me English is the one that is last and the first one is brand communication that's the thing that I study it's a lot like nine chapters and every chapter is like more than 100 pages so like not only is it difficult it's also a lot even in my last exam i passed english and i now know that it's not necessarily one that is super hard for me so now i know that i will spend a little bit less time on english than i will do on brand communication next is one of the most important steps because this is going to save you so much time is knowing exactly what you need to study this is probably the biggest mistake that i made last exam season example french i flunked french completely is because i was just studying the tenses i was studying a little bit of here a little bit of there but i didn't really have like a planning of what i wanted to study and that is where i went wrong when i was in high school the teacher always gave you like a little sheet of like okay this you have to learn that you have to learn but i didn't really have that and that's why i was just like studying all over the place but i didn't really have any structure and then there was videos extra extra exercises that I could have studied but I didn't do that because I didn't even know that I even had to do that so for yourself make a little planning what is to know and what is to do you know what I'm saying like exercises or is just knowledge I even asked my teachers okay do I need to know that do I need to know that because I also don't want to study more than I need to in this way you know exactly what you need to study and you can study exactly that so when the exams come there's nothing else that you could have studied so when I finished high school obviously I don't want to compare high school to college because obviously it's a whole different level I was in my last year you know and I don't want to fill my last year because if you fail you have to repeat who wants to repeat their last year of high school no one so i was really like i want to make sure i pass i want to make sure i pass the thing is i have that little sheet of everything that i need to know so i studied everything there was to know so when i did the exams especially for physics i was struggling i was so scared that i was gonna fail but i passed and there was nothing else that I could have known. The next is planning when you are going to study. This is obviously personal for everyone. For me, I go again with the list of difficult and least difficult. But then again, I also go with first and last. I'm not going to study for the most difficult one if it's the last one first and then you know what i'm saying because i also need to make sure that i study for the first one first and the second one and so on so what i do is first things first i know for myself i'm going to study at least two to three hours a day period like that's just something that is being done and on days where i don't even have school like in weekends i plan in sessions like morning and evening sessions and then in the middle have a little break so always make sure that you study for the first one and the most difficult one around the same time don't ever think like my most difficult one is at the end like i have so much time left because no they give you a lot of time because they know you will need a lot of time this was like a little bit of a summary of the exam prep if you have any more questions about this make sure you write them down below so the next section is tips for focusing and motivation while studying so the first thing that i have are these glasses and I first bought them because I thought they were cute but these ones are actually I'm gonna say it wrong blue ray glasses or like blue light glasses basically I use them while studying not to look cute but because it helps because if you use screens for too long your eyes kind of get like strained because you're staring at a screen for too long and these glasses help with that I'm gonna link them down below they are from Shein I always get like really bad eye strain even if I look at my phone for like 
30 minutes just feel like my eyes are like all over the place like they're broken and i feel like using these glasses really just helped yesterday i did a four hour study session with this one and my eyes did not hurt at all it kind of like blocks out a little bit of the color in general and it kind of looks a little cute and studious too next is a tip that i got from someone on tiktok actually and it's actually while i study i don't just study like in the open and in the quiet because i get really distracted easily i have on headphones and i listen to white noise there's one specific video that's like white noise for studying i'm also going to link it down below i listen to it every single time i study every single time i don't switch to anything else i don't play music i don't do anything just white noise and especially that video if you don't know white noise it's just like a very soft breezy noise and it just helps you focus because it's not necessarily something that you need to focus on if i were to listen to music i would have to focus on the music a little bit or like subconsciously i would be like listening to the music whereas the white noise i don't really have to think about it or something like it's just something about the white noise that really gets me to focus and concentrate because it's like quiet but not quiet but it's not like a sound so i can focus on what i'm doing and that's why i love it definitely use white noise for studying it really helps this is the book where i make my notes in it's just a um, regular like notebook but the thing is for me i love writing things down the thing is i have my laptop that i use to uh, take notes during the class the thing is that when i write notes and the teacher is going really fast i just like type whatever in and then later decode basically what i wrote down you can't really learn anything from my laptop the notes that i made even though they're like nice and they have color and it's all cute and pretty i cannot learn anything from my laptop i always need to write things down and that's why i have this notebook this is basically just my whole notebook that i'm gonna use for my exams i already wrote down for my first exam and i already used up these amount of pages but definitely invest in something to write and everyone has their own methods of studying but for me personally writing things down really helps me it's so much quicker and easier to understand and learn whereas when i do it on my laptop i feel like i'm just reading and scrolling and i don't feel like i'm actually absorbing the material what i like to do a lot is use a pomodoro method some pomodoros that i like are 20 by 5 25 by 5 45 by 15 and yesterday i did one hour by 15 basically it's just uh, an interval of like one hour of studying and then 15 minutes of break one thing that is really funny actually when you do a pomodoro minute you actually start to realize how 20 minutes is actually a long time in this day and age like everything is so fast 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 that i think like 20 minutes all oh, that goes by so quick but when you put a pomodoro method of 20 minutes all of a sudden like 20 minutes is like very long and i feel like you can get a lot done in 20 minutes and especially one video that i like to use sometimes i think it's 25 by 5 but i'm going to also link it down below everything that i want to say is linked down below you get so much more done in a small amount of time because it might seem like a long time in between like when you are studying but then in general it's only two hours and 25 minutes definitely look into pomodoro intervals and find which one works best for you like me i just love different ones i never really have one that i like now i'm using the one hour by 15 minute interval more because i need to get more done and that's why i want to take like one hour to get things done and then i have like a 15 minute break but then i need like another one hour to get things done the 20 by 5 interval was more for like studying for tests but for an exam i really need to have that focus in that long period of time where i'm actually working whereas like a 20 minute time where like after 20 minutes even though it feels longer i don't really get as much done as i would have if i used the one hour timer as i said before i love writing things down i am not really good with learning from the screens or like screenshots or even summaries that are sent through documents to me i need to write it down and that is apparently because i am more of a visual slash audible learner the only one i've been familiar with is like visual learner i feel like that's the most common one but there's also kinetic learner and audible learner and i think those are the three if you know what kind of learner you are it becomes easier to know how you are gonna study like me personally i say visual learner a little bit because i don't really like pictures or drawings or any of that because i feel like to me it's just a little bit of a waste of time i don't really do that but at the same time i do need to write things down and i feel like that also is visual because then i can remember okay i put i wrote something down on that page under there and then you know what i'm saying and i do like to highlight i like to highlight with one color i don't like to highlight with all different colors i just have this green pastel highlighter i don't like to use a mixed color that's why i say maybe i'm not like a total visual learner because i know visual learning is more like drawings and 
writing like coloring and you know what I'm saying like structure that's not necessarily the case why I also say that I'm like an audible learner is because I like to say things and I like to listen to things when I am in the classroom I don't really always like to take notes I rather just listen to what the teacher is saying so then later I can recall it and then I will remember I already have a few notes that I have made and as soon as I am finished with one summary of one um, like exam, I'm gonna read everything out loud. And also a tip is like, not only do I read it out loud, I'm also like presenting it as if I'm teaching it to someone else. And in this way I can like learn it better and say it as if I already know. Because I'm pretending to know that I know it, I am actually knowing it because you're acting as if you know the material. And to explain the material, you will start to use your own knowledge of it. And then slowly by slowly, you will actually start to get it. Also, just for your space where you're studying, make sure that you're comfortable. Like me, as you know, like my room is not small. Like what you see in the frame is my room. There's not like a hidden door or whatever. I do have two rooms, but like that's just like a closet. This is my room. But I have this little section in here that I just made very cozy and comfortable i have my table i have my mirror and then when i study i have my laptop maybe a little water snacks something just comfortable i also like to wear a hoodie i like to have little blankets and i like to even put on some furry socks just to get me very comfortable because the thing is sometimes i'd rather sleep and just study in bed like i always tell myself oh i can study in bed but i can't if I'm as comfortable here as I am there, then what's the point of going there when I know I'll be more productive if I sit here? So make your space very comfortable, always have something to drink, maybe a little snack so you won't get up to get some. That will honestly help you just to stay here and get more things done. One thing that helped me a lot, not only in studying but in life, is just sometimes put your phone in another room. Give your phone to someone else who will just take it for a few hours or minutes because when my phone is, even if I put it away in my room, I will just like, I'm gonna quickly take it and just just quickly scroll or just quickly look up one message because one message leads to oh I need to check my email or oh, then I need to check this and that and then just put it in another room just put it away because you're always gonna want to grab it you're always gonna be enticed to take it and just to check something put it in another room turn off the notifications because sometimes I can even hear my notifications from there just turn it off in the beginning when you're studying you're like motivated and like yes I'm gonna study but then slowly by slowly you're gonna get tired and if you're tired you look for something that's gonna give you like a little bit of that boost so you take your phone scroll on TikTok and then you're distracted and then you realize like I'd rather be on TikTok than studying so then you study you stop studying completely and obviously that's not what we want and I'm just in general in life even if you're not studying put your phone away sometimes I know you might think like oh she's making videos she probably is always on her phone like I'm not on my phone I am not on my phone maybe in school or something like on a break you might see me but like I at home I'm not on my phone I am not on my phone that's why maybe it also takes a long time for me to respond to messages but I'm not on my phone because I have like that fear of missing out you know what I'm saying like you always want to be on your phone you always feel like you're gonna check something but don't because you're not missing out and anything so the last thing is knowing when you are most productive because i know there are some people that are like okay tomorrow i'm going to study from 11 in the morning i'm going to do a pomodoro interval for one hour and 15 minutes all the way from 11 o'clock to six o'clock and then tomorrow comes they wake up at 8 30 they have to brush their teeth they shower eat and all of a sudden things happen and it's two o'clock they've missed the three hours that they said they were going to study and it's not necessarily because they're lazy or they were distracted it's just because you're not as productive in that time me personally i always tell myself i'm going to study in 11 in the morning 11 in the morning but i never study at 11 in the morning because my morning routine is so like broad that i just can't even do that because i have other things that i need to do and there's actually nothing wrong with not starting so early me personally i like to start studying around five in the afternoon because that's when i'm most productive that's when i know i've let the day be the day and now i'm gonna study because i can't wake up and then study i know for myself that's just not how it works for me it's not that easy for me and i usually don't have the motivation in that time whereas at five o'clock i'm like okay i've done my morning routine i have maybe gone outside and got something to drink and now after everything i can go study some people are just better at waking up and immediately studying and some people just are better in the evening you also need to make sure that you know how long you're gonna study if you are someone like me and you study at five you can easily do five hours of studying and then you finish at 10 which is a reasonable amount to stop studying it doesn't matter how much stuff i get done there's no reason why i should be studying more than six hours a day because if you plan it carefully and you know what you're gonna study and how long for everything that you don't need to do 12 hour studying days you don't need to work until 2 a.m maybe if you don't have any time or whatever but usually that's not really the case so 
make sure you plan it properly and give yourself enough time to sleep because that's also really important so these were all my tips hopefully you guys learned something hopefully you guys can take something from this video and implement it in your own studying routine again i just want to say i'm not like an, a straight a student i'm gonna be honest i have flunked my exams before i'm just like re-strategizing and giving you guys the tips that i'm giving myself and the things that i've looked up and i'm just bringing it here for you guys so if you enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe i post every single monday at 5 p.m make sure you tune in make sure to also tune into my last video is a really good really pamper vlog really cute so i'll see you guys next week bye but she's from nicaragua i thought she was persian love